Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these uh, four yellow semicircles uh, fully inscribed uh, in a quarter circle with the center of, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, this uh, code AB is uh, eight uh, units long. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, purple uh, shaded region. And let me make it very clear that these uh, yellow semicircles uh, are uh, identical. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our strategy. Since we are interested in calculating the area of this uh, purple shaded region. So therefore we must uh, calculate the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle and the radius uh, of this uh, yellow semicircles uh, as well. Let me go ahead and label the radius uh, of this uh, big quarter circle as uppercase R and the radius uh, of this uh, yellow semicircle as lowercase R. Therefore, uh, our this uh, OB is the radius uh, of this uh, quarter circle. So this is going to be uppercase R and likewise uh, AO is the radius uh, of this quarter circle as well. So this is going to be uppercase R as well. And likewise, the radius of these uh, yellow semi-circle uh, are going to be lowercase uh, R uh, as well. And since all these uh, yellow semi-circles are uh, identical, so therefore we are going to have a lowercase r uh, radius for all uh, these uh, semi-circles uh, across uh, the board. And furthermore, uh, this uh, length uh, OB is going to be r plus r plus r plus r is going to give us four times uh, lowercase uh, r. And that uh, OB is also equal to this uh, uppercase R. So therefore I can write uh, 4 times lowercase R equal to uppercase uh, R. Or in other words, uh, lowercase R equals to uppercase R divided by 4. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, AOB whose uh, side lengths are uh, uppercase R, uppercase R, and uh, 8. And now we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, A square plus B square equal to C square, and our longest leg is uh, 8. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. So we got uh, uppercase R square plus uppercase R square equals to 8 uh, square. Let's divide both sides by 2, so therefore r squared turns out to be 32. Now let me go ahead and remove this uh, square by taking a square root uh, on uh, both sides of this equation. And on the left hand side, uh, this square and square root undo each other, so therefore uppercase r turns out to be equal to. And now let's focus on the right hand side uh, square root of 32. I have copied it down over here and if we simplify this turns out to be 4 times uh, square root of 2. So therefore our uh, radius uh, uppercase r turns out to be 4 times uh, square root of 2. And since we figured out our uppercase r value as 4 times uh, square root of 2, and now from this uh, equation, lowercase r equals to uppercase r divided by 4. So therefore, our lowercase r value is going to be equal to 4 times the square root of 2 divided by 4. So therefore, our lowercase r value turns out to be simply square root of 2. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, purple uh, shaded region uh, area is going to be equal to the quarter circle uh, area minus uh, the area of these uh, yellow semicircles, as you can see in this uh, diagram. So therefore, now our task is uh, to calculate this uh, quarter circle uh, area and the yellow area as uh, well before we could calculate uh, this uh, purple region area. And now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, quarter circle whose uh, radius is 4 times the square root of 2. 
and now let's recall the area of this uh, circle of formula area equals to pi r square so therefore the quarter circle area is going to be pi r square divided by 4 so therefore our this uh, quarter circle area is going to be simply pi divided by 4 times our r radius uh, is going to be 4 times uh, square root of 2 whole uh, square so this is going to give us uh, pi divided by 4 times uh, this when we take care of this square that is going to be 32 that turns out to be simply a times uh, pi so that's the quarter circle area turns out to be a times pi and here in this uh, next step i have drawn this uh, line uh, cd and this uh, line uh, ed and as a result we got this uh, quarter circle and this uh, yellow quarter circle uh, as well and since uh, this uh, cd is the radius lowercase r and this uh, ed is the radius lowercase uh, r as well so therefore uh, this ocde is going to be our uh, square whose uh, side lengths are uh, lowercase uh, r as you can see over here and here's our next step let's go ahead and now calculate uh, this uh, yellow semicircle uh, area and now let's make an observation we can see that we got uh, this uh, one semicircle this quarter circle and quarter circle makes a uh, two semicircle and this is going to be our third uh, yellow semicircle so no wonder i wrote down uh, three times uh, the yellow semicircle area plus the yellow square OCDE area this uh, square and now let's recall once again the area of a circle formula area equals to pi r square where r is the radius uh, of this uh, yellow semicircle so therefore the area of a semicircle uh, formula is going to be pi r square uh, divided by 2 and our uh, lowercase r radius is square root of 2 so therefore the yellow semicircle area is going to be simply pi divided by 2 times uh, our radius uh, is square root of 2 whole square let's simplify this is so we got pi divided by 2 and here that is going to give us uh, 2 so th therefore uh, this uh, yellow semicircle area turns out to be pi and since we are dealing with these uh, three yellow semicircle so the area is going to become three times uh, pi and now let's calculate uh, the area of this uh, yellow square OCDE and now let's recall the area of a square formula area is equal to s square where s represents the side length of this uh, square and in our case our side length uh, is uh, lowercase r in our case uh, lowercase r equal to square root of 2 so therefore this uh, yellow square OCDE area is going to be simply square root of 2 whole uh, square and that is going to give us uh, 2 so therefore this uh, yellow square OCDE area turns out to be 2 so therefore our uh, yellow area turns out to be 3 pi plus uh, 2 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate now the purple region area we already figured out this uh, quarter circle area as uh, 8 pi and the yellow area as uh, 3 pi plus 2 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, equation so we got uh, 8 pi minus uh, 3 pi plus uh, 2 let's simplify that is going to give us uh, 8 pi minus 3 pi and this is going to become negative sign it's going to become negative 2 if we simplify furthermore that is going to give us 5 pi minus 2 so that's our purple shaded region area turns out to be 5 pi minus 2 square units and that could also be written as approximately equal to 13.71 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye